Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about empty telescopic devices and blank end plugs for use in sanitary spiral wound membrane filters. The empty telescopic device is more commonly referred to as an ATD, but also goes by the name of seal carrier, interconnector, membrane end cap, and sometimes membrane coupler. All these descriptions refer to the same product. Today we'll simply refer to this these as an ATD. Blank end plugs on the other hand will simply refer to these as blank end plugs. Both ATDs and blank end plugs can be made from either stainless steel or polysulfone. With the polysulfone components it's important to handle these with a lot more care and certainly use of the correct tools is highly recommended to prevent any physical degradation to the to the material However, you know, there's a lot of these uh, polysulfone components in plants and, and managed and handled well, they will give considerable life in a dairy uh, membrane process. The ATD effectively has three purposes and are always installed on the end of each spiral element. So if this was element number one, feed in down here, the end of the first element, the end of the second, and third, and so on. Firstly, as the name suggests, an ATD protects the element from, from telescoping. And telescoping is due to the hydraulic forces along the element, which can cause longitudinal unravelling of the membrane uh, to, want, have it, uh, to encourage it to want to travel past the natural end of the element. So the uh, ATD simply provides an anti-telescopic um, device that prevents that longitudinal longitudinal unravelling known as telescoping. Clearly as you can see the, the ATD is uh, also an interconnector so simply connecting the permeate tubes or the elements in series within a pressure vessel. There could be up to as few as one element per vessel, two elements and even up to six elements per vessel. And the third function is to really give that segregation between uh, feed and concentrate and the, the permeate tube which is collecting in, in the centre tube of the, the membrane element. So the ATD provides good segregation of both the concentrate and the permeate streams within a, within a membrane pressure vessel. So there are th generally three sizes of ATDs to suit various internal diameter uh, permeate tubes. The permeate tube is located in the centre of the membrane element. Uh, first up there are 3.8 inch ATDs, both polysulfone and stainless steel. Uh, the 3.8 inch ATDs will uh, suit the uh, a permeate tube that has an internal diameter of 0 0.83 inches. Uh, we have 6.3 inch diameter, outside diameter uh, ATDs, uh, generally suited to the ultrafiltration membrane, which has a permeate tube internal diameter of 1.138 inches and commonly the 8 inch ATD polysulfone stainless steel again uh, if we were talking an RO nanofiltration process these are to suit uh, an internal diameter of the permeate tube of 1.125 inches so different profiles to suit the various internal diameter of the permeate tubes uh, and different dimensions to suit the, the outside diameter of the membrane element uh, within your application. The blank end plug is a device that is placed in the feed. If this was now the feed end of a, a pressure vessel, the blank end plug is placed in the feed end of the membrane. And the purpose has a sole purpose and that is simply to seal the permeate tube of the, of the element from the incoming feed material that is feeding through the, the feed channels. The blank end plug, is, as you can see, is clearly not shaped like an ATD, and nor does it have to be. There are no telescopic forces present on the feed end of the element. They are derived uh, as the hydraulic force gathers through the, through the membrane vessel. So that's a brief overview of ATDs uh, and end plugs. Um, smart membrane solutions can advise on all facets of your membrane accessories. So if, if you should uh, have any questions surrounding your plant accessories 
more components, um, please feel free to uh, reach out to us and we'll, we'll be more than happy to help.